Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm up bright and early to film and play with the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau eyeshadow palette. I picked this up from the ABH website and it did arrive, I wanna say two days ago, but I was actually out of town for a concert. And then to be honest, your girl was hungover and tired yesterday. So it's Monday now. I'm going to do my best to film, edit, upload today. I also think that my Jaclyn Cosmetics PR package is coming today for the new collection. So my plan is to film, edit, upload, film, and then upload that tomorrow. It's gonna be a long day, say a prayer for me. But today we're gonna to be doing a first impressions. I'm gonna demo this palette. I did use it just like two shades when I went to the concert the other day, but you know, I really have no idea how it performs other than two matte shades. So we will just be going over all of the information about this palette and doing a demo, giving you my first impression. So I will link everything that I use today down below in the description box, including all the makeup that I'm wearing right now. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and hop into it. Before we get into the demo, I do like to talk a little bit about the product. So this is the brand new eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It retails for $55. It's available on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website as well as Ulta and Sephora and other retailers. So I will have different links down below. This palette is cruelty free, has a 12 month shelf life and is made in the USA. So in terms of the packaging, you have this really pretty green box and it does have a little bit of texture on the front which I think is a nice touch and then the actual palette follows suit but it has a little bit more texture and I really like the gold detailing right here even though it's really nothing it looks like a opening or like a clasp sort of look this almost looks like a really sleek little like wristlet or wallet so inside you do get all of the shadows in here and it looks like you have 12 different colors to choose from there is a mirror as well they describe this as an all-in-one palette for immediate effortless looks from on the glow to ultra glam. It has reinvented mattes and multi-dimensional metallics. Leave everything up to your imagination with amped up neutrals, perfect pops of color, and a fresh green story that feels ethereal. Now I do want to note three shades in here, Wisteria, Paloma, and Metro are not for use near the eyes. That can be a little confusing. It's a whole nother debacle, but essentially that's why they call it the eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. We've seen that with many other palettes before, but I did want to make note. I've zoomed you in and we're going to start on an eye look. I did not set my base today because I want to avoid fallout as much as possible. ABH does tend to have really powdery formulas. And also I want to get the most color payoff from some of these kind of richer tones, but they almost look muted. They're like a muted, rich sort of vibe here. So I want to see how much color payoff I can get. So I'm going to start out, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I never plan anything. I just kind of sit down. I think I want to go into the shade Liberty, which is this really pretty sort of muted greenish grungy color. And I'm going to pack this on the outer portion of my eye. Okay. So I'm still getting a little bit of fallout. I may have to put some loose powder down here. Pigmentation is looking great. Sometimes when I set my eyelid, I can't get the depth that I'm looking for in the outer portion of my eye. So this is a nice trick, but the only thing is sometimes when I don't set, I feel like I have to work a little bit harder to blend in the crease. So it's sort of double-edged sword here. If I look and sound tired, I am. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Just to be safe, I put down some of my Haley's Beauty powder to catch any fallout, but I wanna jump in and I can't help but wanna use that really pretty purple shade. So this is called Wisteria. It just looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna take that on a different brush. Yeah, these have a ton of powdery kick up. This is very, very typical for ABH. So usually I would do my eyes first, but... Okay, nice pigment, which is what I was hoping for. Again, probably helps that I did not set my eye base. So I'm just gonna use this on the inner part of my eye. That's a beautiful purple, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. And now I'm just gonna start working on softening the outer edges here. So I placed down that color, but I'm just sort of going back in very, very lightly. 
to soften it. Now I'd heard a lot of people saying that this palette reminded them of the Sydney Grace Tiny Marbles um, that Mel Thompson did create, which is so sad that she's gone. It's just such a sad thing, but I actually have not tried that palette, so I can't compare. Just looking at the photos online, I could definitely see similarities, but I don't actually have it to compare. So above both of those colors, I'm gonna go in with the shade Floor, and I just wanna use this to do a very, very light blend around. And then I'm just going back in with that green and just making sure there's no harsh edges. Okay, so of course I have to go in with a shimmer and I really just don't know which route I want to go. I really love the purple and green vibe. So I'm almost thinking sticking with the green. I'm gonna go up with the shade Hope and put that in the center of the lid. So I'm actually just gonna use my finger here and I'm actually gonna keep it a little bit further on the outside. I think I'm gonna try another one on the inner portion here. This feels very creamy. Now it seems like there's a couple different formulas in here because this one right here is a little bit more flaky, whereas the one I'm using is very, very smooth. It almost feels like a cream. It's just really sticking on beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of the shade Wings, and I wanna put this basically like right in here. I just don't wanna cover up too much of that purple because it's so pretty. And then just to blend the edges, I am gonna grab the purple, but I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of Floor in, just a tiny bit, and just really kind of go over the edges here. I'm gonna pull this purple a little bit further over. I feel like we lost a little bit of the purple because I did put two green shades on, but there's not really like a purple shimmer in here. So I'm just gonna pull this over a little bit. So I wiped away the powder and I wanna start on the lower lash line. I'm actually gonna start with Wisteria and I was just gonna put it on the inner corner, but I think I'm actually gonna smoke it all the way under so that I really bring out that purple. So I'm just gonna start smoking this on the lower lash line and I'm bringing it down a little far because I'm gonna put some other stuff underneath or I mean under the eye as well. This is a color story that is super unique and I don't know that I've ever mixed these two tones, but it's really beautiful. So you can see on my lower lash line, the purple is needing to be built up a little bit more because I did set heavily. So again, just keep that in mind. If you're using this on your lid, I would recommend not setting like I did so you really get it to pop. So I wet a tiny pencil brush and I'm taking Wisteria right close to the lash line. So I'm jumping back into the shade Liberty and I'm gonna put that really close up on the lower lash line on the outer portion. So I wet my pencil brush and I'm gonna mix a little bit of Hope with the shade Wings and put this right on the lower lash line. All right guys, so I finished my eyes off camera. I just added some lashes, which I will link down below with a little bit of liner. But I wanna give you my initial first impression on the new ABH palette. I have to say I love the packaging. I prefer this over the velvet packaging they've done in the past. I like that it's still textured, but I feel like this is not gonna get, <clears throat> excuse me, my I'm like losing my voice. I feel like this is not going to get as dirty as the velvet packaging, and it feels just a little bit more sturdy and luxe in my opinion. Now in terms of the color story, this does feel quite unique to my collection. Again, I know people were talking about the Tiny Marvels palette, which I don't own. I love the combination of all of these like garden fairy, sort of like muted green tones with this shade. This is a standout for me, Wisteria. Something about this shade is just so beautiful mixed with the other colors. Now you do have to build this up if you're gonna put it over powder. On my lower lash line, it was really hard to get it to show up as much, but on my lid that I did not set, it was gorgeous. It just blended beautifully, it really popped, and I just think it's such a special 
special shade that works beautifully with all the other tones. In terms of the matte formula overall, I had no issues blending any of the shades. Even this green, which is like a grungy greenish gray color, I've had issues in the past and I had none with this. I used this and this the other day. So I feel like I've used every matte except for the light cream one in here and I've had zero issues at all. I also had no problems working with the shimmers in this palette. I felt like they were very, very creamy to the touch, very metallic and pigmented, and they almost just adhered to the eye beautifully. They really are just super easy to work with, and if you don't set your base, I don't foresee you having a ton of fallout unless you're blending them back and forth. This formula is quite powdery, meaning you're gonna get quite a bit of kick up when you dip your brush in. That's pretty typical of the ABH formula, and they blend so beautifully. The colors are so gorgeous. Everything is pigmented. It really doesn't bother me. You just may want to do your eyes first just to avoid fallout. But I do think that they did improve the shimmer formula in here. They just feel a little bit more smooth and not as chunky or flaky. The only one that really feels maybe a little bit chunky or flaky is this one, as I mentioned before. Overall, I think this is a beautiful color story, really high quality palette. I had no issues with it at all, and I would have never thought to mix these colors, but there's something special about that purple shade just intertwined with all of these really beautiful like fairy garden colors. So overall, I am quite impressed with the quality of this palette. When I initially saw it, I thought it was more of a fall vibe, but now that I have it on, it really can go very summer, spring ethereal if you bring in that purple shade. Can you tell I like the purple shade? I need to stop talking about it. So I really had no issues with it. I would recommend this based on my first impression. You guys will have to let me know Know what you think of my look down below and if you pick this up what are your thoughts I would love to hear your feedback as always I will link this palette as well as everything else that I'm wearing down below in my description box in case there's something you're interested in if you're new here I hope you stick around and subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up thank you guys again so much for watching I'll see you in the next video